Hi, today we are going to see about culture media. The media or mediums that provide essential nutrition and minerals to support the growth of microorganisms in the laboratory. There are so many culture media are used to cultivate the microorganisms. First one, on the basis of consistency, the media is typed into the three different categories solid medium, liquid medium, and semi solid medium. Second one, on the basis of constituents and ingredients, the media is typed into simple medium, complex medium, synthetic or defined medium, and special medium. The special media that includes enriched media, enrichment media, selective media, indicator media, differential media, sugar media, transport media, and media for biological reactions. Third one, on the basis of oxygen requirement, the media is typed into aerobic media and then anaerobic media. See one by one. A liquid media that contains 2% of agar. So this media it is used to identify the colony morphology and uh, production of pigmentations of microorganisms, humolytic characters of the microorganisms. Example, nutrient agar, blood agar. In liquid media, the liquid media doesn't contain any kind of agar. Uh, this only for the preparations of inoculum, a blood culture, and for the isolation of pathogens from a culture mixture. Example, nutrient broth. And third one, semi-solid medium, the medium that contains 0.5% 0 0 of agar. Example, motility medium. And this is a types of media. First one is solid media, nutrient agar. Second one is a liquid media example for uh, uh, sorry newton broth example for uh, liquid media and third one is semi solid medium next we are going to see about simple media or basal media the simple media that provides a simple nutrition source for the growth of microorganisms example newton broth and newton agar newton broth consists of peptone meat extract and nacl Newton broth plus 2% agar is it is called as a nutrient agar. Next one complex media. The media other than basal media they have added ingredients that provide special nutrition for the growth of microorganisms. Synthetic or defined media, the media preferred from pure chemical substances and its exact composition is known. Example peptone water. In this 1% peptone plus 0.5% of NaCl in water. Next, enriched media. The enriched media that will be very useful for the growth of fastidious microorganisms and isolation of fastidious microorganisms. So, these fastidious microorganisms that require some special nutrition source or special additional uh, uh, supplement uh, source. For the growth of microorganisms, for example, blood, serum, egg are added to the basal medium. So, this is I use it to grow bacteria that are exacting in their uh, nutritional uh, needs, for example, blood agar and chocolate agar. So, this is blood agar and this one is chocolate agar. The blood agar can be used to, to differentiate the uh, hemolytic characters. And this one is uh, selective medium for some microorganisms called uh, pneumococci. And then enrich enrichment media. This media is a uh, liquid media that is very useful for the uh, isolation of uh, microorganisms called uh, Salmonella and Shigella. So this media is used to isolate the pathogens from a mixed culture. The media is incorporated with the inhibitory substances to suppress unwanted microorganisms. For example, already said that is uh, selenate of broth, the best example for the isolation of salmonella and the shigella, and then uh, alkaline peptone water for vibrio cholerae. And selective media. The media 
that having inhibitory substances is added to the solid medium. For example, McCankey medium for gram negative bacteria, TCBS for Vibrio cholerae, LG medium for tuberculosis, Wilson and Blayer medium for Staphylococcus typhi and then potassium telluride medium for diphtheria bacilli and this uh, some kind of media so this one is McCankey agar in this McCankey agar we can able to see the lactose fermenting colonies and this one is TCBS that contain Vibrio cholerae colonies and this one is potassium telluride medium and this one is LZ medium and next one is indicator medium this media contain an indicator which changes its color when a bacterium grows in them for example blood agar mccanky agar and christiansen's ureus medium so this is blood agar and this one is ureus medium and next one is differential media uh, this media which has the substances incorporated in it enabling it to distinguish between bacteria example mccanky medium that mccanky medium that contain peptone lactose zogor neutral red and uh, toraculate this differential medium that uh, very useful to differentiate the microorganisms specifically lactose fermenting bacterium or non lactose fermenting bacterium in a mccanky agar at the same time another media can also use it as a differential media for example a uh, blood agar uh, in this blood agar we can able to see the uh, uh, hemolytic characteristic of microorganisms especially uh, streptococci alpha and beta and gamma hemolytic characters so best example for differential medium is blood agar and then uh, mccanky agar if the organisms produce lactose fermentation in uh, mccanky agar they give a pink color colonies if the organisms doesn't produce a lactose the colonies will be a colorless colonies so this is the difference between a lf and non lf colonies <laughs> next one is sugar media the media that containing any fermentable substances so for example glucose arabinose lactose starch etc this media which consist of 1% of the sugar in peptone water this contain a small tube called durams tube for the detection of gas by the bacteria if the organisms produce gas the duram full is afflicted in the medium now we can see the durams tubes and this one is a uh, tubes next one is transport media this is very important media this media is used to transporting the samples it's a delicate organism may not survive the time taken for transporting the specimen without transport media examples towards medium and next one is buffered glycerol saline medium this transport medium is very very useful to transport from a collecting center or uh, laboratory to the uh, processing uh, area processing uh, lab okay so this transport media that prevents the uh, contaminations of microorganisms while transport the sample you can see stored medium that's non nutrient soft agar gel containing a reducing agent the buffered glycerol saline is for enteric bacilli next media is called anaerobic media this anaerobic media the media are used to grow anaerobic organisms for example robertson's cucurbit medium and toyaculate medium so this is a cucurbit medium robertson cucurbit medium so so many microorganisms are aerobic so aerobic microorganisms can be cultivated by using aerobic media and some of microorganisms is anaerobic uh, respirations these microorganisms can be cultivated by using a anaerobic media okay thank you
i hope uh, everyone understood thank you we'll see in next video thank you